Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we're talking about above code bath ventilation fans. If you've watched my video on the code built bath ventilation fans, you probably noticed that the bath fans in code built homes, if no special attention is paid to them, are using very inefficient fans that don't move much air and also using a ducting approach that creates a lot of static pressure or resistance to that airflow keeping really an adequate amount of ventilation air from being removed from the wet locations, from the bathrooms. So I'm standing here in one of our homes where we go above and beyond for high performance ventilation from our bathroom areas, particularly the bathroom areas where we have sources of humidity and moisture. So bathrooms that have a shower or a bathtub. In these locations, we wanna make sure that we're getting adequate and if not more than adequate ventilation exhaust to remove that moisture, remove that humidity from the bathroom. And in order to do that, we do a couple of things differently than just what code simply requires. First, we spec a high performance bath fan. So above me here is one of our bath fans, and this happens to be a Panasonic bath fan powered by a DC motor. And that DC motor does a couple of things. One, it's super energy efficient. Two, it actually senses the resistance to pressure and it ramps up the fan speed to maintain the correct airflow if there's a great amount of resistance. First step is buying a high performance bath fan. And believe it or not, these bath fans are not a lot more expensive than the cheap noisemaker types. Second key of making sure the bath fan moves the correct amount of air is the ducting. So you probably saw in the video on code compliant bath fans, you could duct a bath fan with flex duct really as far as you want to. There are no standards by the code, at least here in South Carolina, about how far you could run that bath fan. But if you run flex duct, and especially if that flex duct isn't pulled tight and has a lot of bends and turns, you're gonna get so much resistance to flow, all that bath fan's gonna do is make a lot of noise and not move much air. So we wanna make sure either our duct run is super short if we're using flex duct, or if we have to make a fairly long duct run that we use hard metal pipe. So if you look again up at the bath fan above me here, you will see that there is solid metal pipe going off of that bath fan running to the exterior wall. The hard pipe is very smooth on the inside, so it doesn't have a lot of resistance to airflow. That allows that bath fan to move a lot of air without having to work very hard. And then at the very end, we transition to just a short piece of flexible duct to make that transition out to the vent cap going out of the building. Or we locate the bath fans so that they have such a short distance from the exterior wall that we can just use a short piece of flex. We'll go upstairs in this house and I'll show you one of those. The perfect example here in the owner's bathroom of this house, we have a bath fan above me so close to the outside wall that we just have about a two foot section of duct that has to be run. And we run that with flex duct. It's not a problem when the flex duct is that short, we're still gonna get great airflow through this bath fan with very little resistance. And what does this do? What does this mean? The biggest thing is we're removing humidity from the bathroom. We're building a very tight house. We want to make sure that our point sources of contaminants, including humidity, are evacuated or ventilated out of the house, exhausted out of the house. So this bath fan will be operated by a humidity controlled timer 
and it's going to run for a minimum of an hour anytime anyone triggers the bath fan. That is going to ensure that it evacuates the bulk of the moisture from the bathroom. We've covered a few things today. The key to adequate exhaust ventilation in bathrooms is one, a high performance bath fan to begin with, two, making as short duct runs as possible to the exhaust termination or vent, three, using ducting that doesn't have a lot of resistance to airflow, in particular, smooth, hard metal pipe ducts if we have long runs, and then if we have to make a transition to connect to our vent cap, we do that with a short piece of flex duct. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit about high performance bathroom exhaust ventilation. And please follow us on our channel to see more videos on more interesting topics on high performance building.